Your artist website is the most important place that you exist on the internet. It is the cornerstone of your entire presence online. It's a place for your fans, followers, and listeners to come and find you in one central location. It's also a place for them to connect with you via email and even buy merch and music from you. Now, one of my favorite platforms to build an artist's website is Card. Card allows you to very easily and quickly get up and running with a simple website in the form of a one-page landing page, essentially, that has all of your links to everything else on it. But sometimes the stock templates out of the box aren't quite enough to get the result that we're looking for. Sometimes we need to tweak things with a little bit of custom code to have our site look precisely how we want it to. So today we're gonna to walk through how to customize both your header and your footer using Card. Now I personally use Card to build my artist website. You can check out my website at tomdupreethethird.com. And if you wanna learn more about how I structure my website, you can watch this video right here where I walk through how I use Card to create a desktop friendly website and a link in bio website that automatically formats on mobile. This gives me the ability to have a pretty single landing page website on desktop while also taking advantage of the link in bio structure on mobile devices that most artists are fond of using because most of our presence is through social media platforms anyway. But my website isn't just straight out of the box. I did a little tweaking to it to make sure that I could have a floating header and a floating footer that would allow me to display links to other places on the internet like my store, uh, our agency, and my courses. And I also have my social links at the bottom and an email sign up as well, all on one page that is not scrollable. So let's dig into some code and I'll show you exactly how I did this. Now Card gives you a lot of places to start. You can choose from a litany of templates to get going. And they all have different features that allow you to start with sort of pre-formatted things. Now, if I remember correctly, I originally started with this template right here. I used this template as the foundation for what I wanted to build ultimately, but eventually I tweaked things to get my website to look like this, which is vastly different from where I started. So moving over to the editor here, why do we even wanna bother with custom code to format our header and footer anyway? Well, the answer is that if we don't, we end up with this sort of stacked look on our site. We've got our header up top, our background image, and then our footer at the bottom. And you can see that the header at the top has my logo, which is under this panel. It's got my links, but it's just a static black background. And then at the bottom at the footer is the same case. I've got my links, I've got my email, but again, just a static background. And doing it like this does not allow my website to be displayed as one single page when you land on it on desktop. There is a little bit of scroll between the header and the footer that you're gonna experience when you go to my site. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to be one static page. So I wanna pull this header down over top of this image and I wanna pull this footer up over top of this image. So if we select our header container here, we're gonna start here at this uh, container option, but we wanna go all the way over to the gear which was originally selected and go to the settings tab. What we wanna do is go to style over here and then we want to select default and then we wanna paste in this code. And this code allows us to make our header lift off of the page and settle on top of the background image that we have. So our position is set to absolute. We set it at absolute so that it stays pinned to the top of the page. Then we've got some parameters to make sure that it's in the right location. We wanna make sure it's a full width header. And then our Z index is what allows us to make sure that header exists on top of the image rather than getting stuck behind it where you can't see it. So once we've done that, we're gonna select done and that will save our header and now it's floating at the top of our page. So let's do the same thing for our footer. So we go to the footer here at the bottom, we'll select the container. We wanna to go to the settings tab again and then we wanna paste in this set of code. Now this is a very similar set of code, but the difference is that we are indexing to the bottom instead of the top of the page this time around. So again, our position is absolute so that it stays static. And then our bottom and left uh, parameters are in so that it's in the right spot. Our width is a full width footer. And then again, we use the Z index to make sure that it sits on top of the background instead of being tucked underneath. So with these two simple things of code just pasted into this box, now we have this pretty page that has the header uh, and the footer floating over top of our background image. And that leaves us with a website that looks like this. So this is how I formatted my one page artist website to have a floating header and a floating footer that exists on top of my background image so that it's one seamless experience 
uh, that looks really pretty on desktop. Now, if you want to make your site look pretty much like this, I actually have my site as a template that you can buy on card. It's only $10 and is at the link in the description of this video. If you don't want to get started with this template, but you do want to get started with card, there's a link to do that down there as well. So go check it out. Make sure you have an artist website. If you don't, if you don't have one, card is the easiest way to get up and running to do that. Now, lastly, before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple more videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.